Okay, YouTube, I, uh, I've decided to make this uh, video. There's a little bit of story behind this uh, installation. Um, I'm gonna get at it. So first of all, take a look at this fan coil. So this fan coil, I think this is the future way of uh, heating your house. Um, so I think it's getting more popular and popular. So this one does uh, both heating and cooling. There's a video on YouTube on about this guy uh, talking about a fan coil by an American company called uh, Chiltrex, I think. So there's a whole video this guy is talking about this fan coil. Okay, it's called Chiltrex. So now this is Chiltrex. Oh, it's leaking already. So I today I have glycol all over the place because I'm replacing it. It's leaking glycol and uh, oh man I'm having a tough time here today I spent all day today trying to get these fun coil replaced and uh, it wasn't fun and I'll explain why yeah, I'll explain why oh, these uh, glycols are just rough anyways so this one is 6000 BTU and the information about the BTU, it's uh, over here. Uh, I don't need. Uh, I don't need to explain about the, uh, the specs on on this fine coil. I just want to get to the story. Now, I bought. I imported this from the U.S. So Chiltrex, uh, it's an American company. I imported it from the U.S. Now, after I imported it, it got. Oh, again, it's leaking. Okay, I gotta stop. It got, uh, this Chiltrex, it got tariffed. So the, at the border, Canadian border, they charge tariff on this Chiltrex. So I was in contact with a company and there was a guy, salesperson who was selling me and he guaranteed me this fan coil is made in America. He said, it's an American product, North America, you never have to worry about it. We take care of it, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then this is during when Trump was in charge. I didn't wanna, I was trying to avoid buying a Chinese product. So at the border they charged it. And I said to myself, what's going on? Wait a minute, how come you put tariff? Because it's supposed to be free trade. So I called the border people. They said, oh, this product's made in China. That's why I put tariff on it. And I could not believe it. I, I was livid. So I called the guy back and then guess what he says to me? He says to me, buddy, Everything is made in China. I got a story for you. Everything is made in China. Doesn't matter how much uh, Trump yaps, everything is made in China. At the time was uh, the height of uh, Trump's presidency. Maybe Biden was elected, but doesn't matter. That's politics. I don't care. And uh, what he's saying was, uh, he said there's no economical viable way of making anything in US except in China. So they make them in China. So now, so this, is an American product uh, and if you take a look at I have a point why I'm talking this if you take a look at this it is extremely so take it if you take a look at this how this is designed the whole thing like the whole molding of it the grill everything the design the whole design matches with this company and if you take a look if you guess where is this made this is made in China by the Chinese. So the manual that comes with this is a Chinese manual. And this has English and French, but there's a Chinese manual mainly. And it's identical, identical to the Chiltrex one. It's amazing, man. I don't even know if the company knows. But they wanted to uh, do better than uh, Chiltrex, I guess. Uh, they added three-way valve, okay? So basically the way it works, I'm gonna explain, it's a very simple system. So there's uh, two inlet and outlet, a liquid, either glycol or, or water, goes through there. So after you heat it, it goes through there. It goes through the, the uh, basically there's inside of here, there's a radiator, right? And there's a fan. Basically it's what's in your car, the system that's in your car. So it goes through here, 
uh, with cool cool water or hot water, glycol in my case, and it comes back out. Okay? Now the Chinese company decided to put this three-way valve in here. Right? They're trying to make it, I mean, uh, market it better than Chiltrex, I guess. But they copied everything almost the same, except Chiltrex did not add this. And the reason why now I understand why they didn't add this. Now I thought when I saw this, it was the best thing, you know? Um, they use this, uh, this uh, connector, okay? Or I actually call it connector at the bottom. It may have a different plumbing name. Um, but the threading is the same on both ends. So when you turn this here, you actually untrade it. So you need thread it on this side, you untrade it on that side, so it leaks. So it was leaking here. And then there was another one that goes from here to there because it's three way. As you tighten this, this one comes off and it leaks. And, uh, and as this one moves, this one leaks. So I, when I wanted to take this one off, I couldn't turn it away. If, so if I wanted to make it tight, and then it would reach a point where I cannot turn it to come around. It was almost impossible. So I spent, I mean, nine hours today trying to figure out a way to have this three-way, to make a use of this three-way valve. It's almost impossible, impossible, it's useless. So I'm gonna end up, so in, in order to take it, to remove it, I have to strip the front. I have to figure out how to take apart. So I took, took it apart. I put threads on it. You can see I put the uh, plumber. It wasn't. It didn't come with. Uh, uh, didn't come with the uh, Teflon tape. I put Teflon tape on it, and I put it back together. It still didn't work. So I spent all day glycol all over my house. Now, so this here, right, is a 24 volt input. So I have that already installed on Chiltex before. So even the wiring are identical. So this wiring here, some of them say, uh, I guess the switch wire on off and then cool heat. But this is a wire where 24 volt, the two black ones, 24 volt comes in. And the, so the Chinese company decided to send this 24 volt to that three-way valve, right? But I'm gonna remove that three-way valve because I already have my zone valve. I'm gonna use that 24 volt to my zone valve, simple. but. And they have here, they have the diagram, electronics diagram of it. It's, it's very simple to install. I installed Chiltrex first because it comes with manual, proper manual, and I followed the manual, it was easy. And then I wanted to see the difference, so that's why I didn't install this one first. I want to see the difference, and I figure what the difference is. But I thought, what a cool thing over there. But it's not. Uh, they thought they did something cool. They could have used, I think, a union something that joins two threads, uh, male threads together, but this, or they could have made both end threads uh, tighten in a different way. So as you turn this one, you tighten this one one way and tightens the other one. They could have done that. They don't do it. They made the same thread. So when you tighten it, you actually loosen this. When you tighten this side, you loosen this. When you tighten this, you loosen that. So it's gonna leak. So it was leaking like crazy. It's just impossible. So I'm gonna take this off. And I'm just gonna go straight, use my zone, zone valve that I already have. Um, so, I mean, um, uh, basically this price is at a fraction of what the American sell. And there's gonna be a tariff on it. The one you buy from America is gonna be tariff on it anyways. So what's the difference? You're gonna pay tax the same way you pay tax in the state. So what's the difference, you know? Why, why buy the American? Well, I'm sorry, I mean, I, mean, I, 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 talk, I was talking to the guy in a salesperson, like it was easy to get a hold of him, a nice guy explained to me. And I just, uh, my, I felt like I was misled, but then I was, but then I, I kind of quickly got over it. I mean, he has a point, he, he's right. It's almost impossible to make anything other than in China. So I, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't upset about it. Uh, but then I found one that's like, I guess the factory that makes uh, the Chiltrex stuff is making another one on the side and selling them. This is like a common thing. They're selling them on the market, another one on the side, they're using the same mold, the same uh, factory equipment and making another ones. So, I, I mean, literally there's no difference. Maybe I'm assuming, maybe the American company copied the Chinese, but with all these uh, rights, low, lows, the uh, 
with copyrights, I, I doubt the American company would do that. Uh, that's why I'm assuming a Chinese company copied, but it's identical. Like, it's, it's crazy. Same. It's a different company, but there's no difference. I don't think any material difference. Uh, the copper piping inside for the the fan coil, the fan, the the uh, the, dark, the radiator inside is all the same. Even the the temperature sensor is the same. Everything is the same. Uh, but this one at a fraction of the price, this one gives me 12,000 BTU and the other one gives me 6,000 BTU. So I have, I have one over there, right? So I decided last year I, I was rushing. I didn't have time. I put these ones, the Chiltrix one. I didn't want, I didn't have time to try this one. So the biggest Chiltrix I have was 6,000 BTU. So I put 6,000 BTU over, over on this corner of the house and I put another one on that corner of the house and my plan was to put another one there. This wall was not ready, so I didn't put it on. So I was a little bit discomfort, not comfortable in this area. Uh, now I'm gonna go big 12,000 BTU here, so double, and I wanna see how the house go, right? Downstairs, I mean, I have on this floor, I have 48,000 BTU capacity, heat capacity from the, 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 from the uh, fan coils, but downstairs all concrete tube, concrete uh, PEX tube. Uh, that one, like co concrete PEX tube, you know, it's, it's crazy the amount of BTU. So all together, way more than enough BTU capacity I have for the house. Um, I wanna see how, how much this one will produce. But it's straightforward. Uh, another thing is I forgot to do last year that I did here. Also, you have to install the drain for the AC. If you turn the AC on, it will leak water. And um, so I, I put that one now uh, for the drain. And definitely I'm gonna, yeah. Another thing about both, uh, both of them, both companies, the, these, uh, they use these, uh, connectors to connect them they call them what do i have it these flexible pipes i don't know what they call them it's flexible pipes and the connectors are two different connectors mpt on one side and g34 on that side they come with these uh gaskets inside they're horrible unless like uh, when i say horrible it's for leak um they tell you that this is enough, the gasket is enough. No, you have to put uh, Teflon tape, a lot of Teflon tape and tighten it a lot. And if you use this once, you have to replace the, the gasket. So, I mean, I had, uh, I mean, that, that one, that one was giving me a lot of headache to it was leaking a lot many times. I finally got it tight, I think. It's not leaking no more. But the other ones never leaked. The other four I have now in each bedroom and it didn't leak. Uh, but I noticed if you don't use uh, Teflon tape, they leak. So I decided to buy from Home Depot uh, Teflon tape and also the, the plumber's glue. I think I'm probably gonna watch a YouTube video on this and how to use this thing and then I'll, uh, I'll do that. So yeah, here's my story. So make sure the, the core of the story here is make sure you, um, there's no leak there. I use Teflon tape and proper gasket. And also that three-way valve, if you're using drone valve for yourself, is pointless. I can see the Chinese company is trying to do something better, a good idea, but uh, it didn't work. Maybe they could design better next time. But I want to see, I'm going to do a review on this. Um, I want to see how well it does. I want to compare. I think it's going to do just fine. I think it's going to do just the same. I mean, I don't know about the software, right? These things come with softwares. Uh, I mean, look at the display. Exactly the same. Look at it. So, so this is, it says Phoenix, right? And then look at the, the display here. I mean, it's going to zoom. Uh, everything in that display is the same. 
as if I were to go there, show you the live one. So, so, so this one is on, like it's on uh, all the time now because it's the only one that I'm using in this open space, right? The only one I'm using now to heat the house. So it's constantly on. So screaming, help, help, because I need some other fan coils to come on. That's what it's screaming. So look at it, identical, right? And then look at the Chiltrex. Um, I like how it's easy and simple to install. Um, and uh, we'll see, I mean, again, you can see my rookiness here. For first time, I didn't have anything, so I just tied it as I was rushing. That's not right by code. And I used, um, I found these things on internet uh, for on the improvement. Like I said, I never finish things. I, I always come back to it. You notice my videos. Where did I put those? Those uh, pin connectors. Oh, sorry, I'm messy. Oh, it's right here. So I use these uh, with gun, heat gun, to fuse uh, on my second install. So I already taped it, but this is much better. Like there's no, there's no chance in hell this is coming apart or, or any conductor issue because I use that joiners. In, in, on, it's, you see it on YouTube a lot. They advertise on Facebook and stuff like that. So it works really amazing. Anyhow, Thank you, I guess it turned out to be a long video. I appreciate it. Uh, please subscribe. I'm going to do more of these review and comparisons. Hopefully it will improve my, my video. Sorry, my, uh, yeah, my YouTube videos. Thank you. Bye.